going with the theme of uh, being in the right place at the right time, on the reverse side of that, you could be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I know you told a story about when you were in Montana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It was the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. Yeah. What What happened in Montana? Set the story up. I know when you told Ashley and I, it, it might have been Wyoming. I get those two states confused. It's they're it similar. A, it was a frontier. It was a desolate land. Yeah. No, <laughs> but, yeah. It was we, the opposite of Orlando. Right. We okay. were uh, <laughs> on tour and we had just played a show, uh, probably in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, great barbecue and, there. Oh, it's a great, it's a great, beautiful place. And, yeah. and you know, we, we stayed at some random house with some random guys. We had the day off the next day. So we were kind of just hanging out, killing time. And we said, so what is there to do around here? And, and they said, well, there's a, uh, there's a waterfall nearby with some cliffs on the side that you can climb, cool experience. And we said, let's go do that. So we drive out there. On the way where we get kind of lost, so we stop and flag down this passing car, and we ask this guy for directions, and he knows right where it's at. He says, you just go up half a mile, it's there on your left. And um, uh, We get there, and we're climbing up these, uh, these, these rock faces on either side of the waterfall and having this awesome moment. Are we talking really steep, or are we talking like a gradual slope? Uh, they're pretty steep, but they've okay. got a lot of big rocks sticking out, so it's not it's not super treacherous, you know. Okay, it, but uh, it's not like tiny little crimps that. No, you have. Okay. yeah, we're not expert rock climbers. <laughs> you know, we're just hardcore kids gotcha. that don't have a mom around to tell us how stupid <laughs> this is. So, so we're climbing up, and and uh, you know, we get up probably I don't know 60, 70, 80 feet. And uh, some of the some of the other guys in the band and some of the guys that we were with, whose house we'd stayed at, started picking up rocks off the side of the cliff and like throwing them down to see them break through the trees and kind of explode uh, on the on the ground. It's like the hardcore version of when you're at a water park spitting oh, off exactly. of the top yeah. of right. like the ride. <laughs> okay, right. so you're just launching boulders, right? Yeah, and there's nobody there. I mean, you know, when we pulled in, there were no cars or anything. And, and uh, so they they pick up one of the guys, not one of the guys in the band, but one of the guys we were with, picks up a rock, probably the size of a football, a pretty big rock, mm. and he throws it down. And uh, a few seconds la- later, we hear it break through the trees, and then we hear somebody down below start screaming at the top of their lungs. Uh, and um, oh my gosh! And we think, oh no, we killed the guy. We we thought one of the other guys said, I could have swore he said, you killed my daughter, um, but he. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what he said, but it was probably something like you hit my arm because this rock was sort of rolling down the side of this cliff. It bounces out and is coming straight for this guy's face. And he sees it at the last second and manages to get his arm up. And y'all, I wish uh, there's a picture of it somewhere. He's got a gash from his elbow down to his wrist that is so deep. You can see the, uh, through the muscle, you can see the tendons and the fat in his arm. Uh, oh. It is just beyond gnarly. And it, it was the guy we had asked for directions. He he <gasps> he just thought, you guys seemed cool, and I wanted to come hang out with you. I didn't have anything else going on. So he came back to just hang with us and show us around, and uh, and we hit him with a giant rock instead. <laughs> so we one of our guys ended up driving him to the hospital so he could get stitches and get put back together. I, uh, I, the, the prognosis was good that he was going to be fine, but, uh, uh, yeah, we felt pretty stupid for a while. Okay. So I didn't throw the rock for, for the record. For the record. And it yeah. wasn't anybody in the band. It wasn't any of the guys. It was just some random guy yeah. that was definitely not a part of four today. Right. So in that moment, when you hit him and you hear a scream, like you're far enough away to where you can, in that moment, decide we can run. Like no one has to know who we were. <laughs> Right. Or you go and check on him. Like, what what was that split second decision like? Of we could have yeah. just killed a man. Yeah. Well, if I can be totally honest, I was a lot younger then. My first response was, "Thank God I didn't throw that rock. Somebody is in a lot of trouble right now. <laughs> <laughs> One of these idiots is going to have to answer for this." You know. Uh, no, but I, I think we all started. We all, you know, once we got past the initial shock, we all started climbing down to just, I don't think we really considered the possibility of trying to escape. Um, we just had to get down quick and see what had happened and uh, see if there was anything we could do to help. 
Yeah, I yeah. bet that guy has never given directions to anyone For else. Sure. He, I'm sure he wears a helmet when he's hiking out there now. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, oh, you need something fun to do? Go play chess. That's uh, right, yeah. We, we're actually known for our Uno playing skills here. <laughs> right. uh, you know, he has to dull the edges of the cards so no one, like, cuts him open That's with right, him. yeah. Hey, y'all, we hope you loved this conversation. Here at Young Married Christian, we are on a mission to see a gospel-centered home made available for every single child in the foster care system. There are four. 400,000 kids in the foster care system, and there are 400,000 churches in America. Wow, that is crazy. This is absolutely a solvable problem, and we want to be a part of it. If you want to join us in that mission, text the word FREEDOM to 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. And another thing you can do that is really helpful is to smash the like button on this video. Crush it like Satan's face. Crush it like it's Lucifer's head. It really helps us a ton. So smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel. That's it. <laughs> smash the like button on this video.